What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? When you get home tonight to the greeting, how was your day? Please pause a moment before you mindlessly say that it was shit and moan a bit and start to bitch about this and that. Consider what you really got, how rich you are, your job, your car, your spouse, your house, your family who, no matter what you fail to do, always seem to be there for you. Be even the pride of what you've done. Celebrate what you've become. A cog in the nation's economy whilst honouring your family tree. The author of your legacy. The shitty day that you say you've had. Consider if it was all that bad and ask yourself, what if your day had happened to go another way? What if things had been different for a younger you? If you had been the one who was born into that family with the dad who didn't show and brought up by that mother, the one who couldn't know how to inspire, how to quell the fire that burned away your self-esteem, fueled by the oxygen of pointless dreams, a sense of inevitability about your ultimate destiny, the downward spiral of desperation leading only to incarceration, and the self-fulfilling prophecy of costly state dependency, the only solution, the lock and key, restriction of liberty. But the solution is not in the prison cell, containing the problem behind the wall. That approach resolves nothing at all. This system only perpetuates a situation of stalemate, checkmate, a depressing fate, and all the time a burden of the welfare state. What if I was born another day and brought up in a different way, with a father that was present and a mother who could cope, and a family that was nurturing and a future full of hope? What if you could provide a key to unlock the door that sets me free, a key for life more productive that delivers something more constructive. But I guess when you look at me, the only thing that you can see is not my sparkling personality, not one ounce of opportunity. You see only instability wrapped up in negativity, topped up with a dose of hostility, the risk of reoffending, just the situation pending. But there ain't much difference between you and me. We are much the same genetically, just that I was supplied with a different key that unlocked another destiny, a different path to walk, a different way to be. What if you took a different view? What if you took the trouble to look behind the hard veneer, scratch the surface, see what might appear, what I could become, what I could be, write an alternative life story? A bit of care, some belief, could totally rewrite their brief, unlock their future, set them free. Don't be afraid to use that key. It's not enough to just survive. Give them the opportunity to thrive. Key for life. Key for life has um, come on so much since 2012 when Eva Hamilton badgered me again with this lame idea that these rough boys could be somehow redeemed, you know, I was a bit sick of redemption, really, um, and asked me and the band to play in some uh, ghostly manor house in the West Country with these dodgy geezers. Uh, the fact is I enjoyed the house and I enjoyed the dodgy geezers and you can't refuse Eva anything ever. And... Uh, Turned out she was right. Turned out that they um, had so much to give that uh, we need. We can't afford to turn away uh, people. We can't afford to um, limit talent, to limit the individual, to limit the personality. We just can't do that. Uh, it doesn't suit our purpose more, more than that. It's so stupidly expensive and Key for Life has proved the model that, that um, Eva outlined to me. Uh, the figures you'll see next are so ridiculously compelling. You don't require intellectual belief. The empiricism is in the, is in the figures. Um, it works. When things work, I tend to stay the course and stay supporting it. At the point it doesn't work, you bail. Um, we can't keep having stuffed prisons 
we can't keep putting people who f fall off the, the log. Uh, we can't keep putting them back in jail where they learn new ways to fall off logs. Um, I'd do away with the log. I'd put a flat plank underneath somebody. They can stabilise and walk down it to uh, other possibilities. It works.